Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to make a very special plate for you guys, especially because it is getting colder and we want to definitely have different options to eat and soups and caldos are the most things that I crave during this season. So I wanted to share with you guys one of my favorite plates that me and my family like to eat. So I wanted to show you guys how we season it and how we make them. So yes, if you guys are interested in seeing how I make my shrimp stew or my caldo de camarón, go ahead and keep on watching. All right guys, so for starters for our ingredients, we are gonna need about three to four pounds of shrimp and about two pounds of tilapia. Also, we are gonna need carrots. Uh, we are also gonna do uh, broccoli slaw. That's something that I really like. I like pretty much my veggies pre-chopped. If there's a way that we can do that, then I definitely do that. And also you're gonna need about a whole cabbage. Obviously you're gonna need your salt. We are gonna need about a can of corn. And also for our veggies, we're gonna still add two uh, chili jalapenos and then two tomatoes, one full onion, uh, about three cloves of garlic. And we are gonna need our chilies, which we are gonna use about, for our chilies, we're gonna need four California uh, chilies and then two pasilla chilies and then of course we are also going to need our uh, camarón molido or ground shrimp so that's something that we are going to need to give it a good flavor moving on we are also going to use potatoes which we are going to need about four to five potatoes and of course our spices we are going to need our oregano and our paprika so that's pretty much it what you're going to need for the entire stew so in a different pot, we're going to put all our chili peppers and we're going to put that to boil for about 10 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and put that to medium high. I already pre-washed all my veggies, so now I'm just going to go ahead and chop them. So for starters, I'm going to start off with the tomatoes. I'm just going to chop them up in small little squares, just like that so I can give it a nice flavor. So same thing with this one. Just small little squares and then we're gonna go ahead and drop it into a pot just like this, like a decent sized pot, just like that. So I'm gonna start throwing them in here so I can mix all my veggies together. Okay, so once I rinse this out, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in my cabbage in there. So you just throw it all the way in there. Perfect, just like that. And then you wanna go ahead and also add in the water. Okay, so then we're gonna add about 10 cups of water. which is going to be our carrots. Make sure you wash your hands. <laughs> and yes, I did wash mine. And then, perfect. And you just let that come to a boil. But before, we're gonna add our spices, which is going to be our oregano. And our about uh, two tablespoons of paprika. Perfect. 
perfect. And now, with the spoon, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it. All right, guys, and I also forgot to mention, don't forget to add your camarón molido into your stew. So for this one, you're gonna add about, same thing, about two tablespoon full of the seasoning. Maybe a little more, depending how seasoned you like it. And just like that, and then same thing, just cover it up. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and put in the chili inside so we can go ahead and blend it. So we're gonna add our chili. Be very careful because this one's very hot, so you wanna make sure that it's not that hot. And then you just drop in your chilies. All right, and then also we're gonna add in our garlic. So we're gonna add about two cloves of garlic. One and and two. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and blend all this together and we're gonna add a little bit of water. Alright guys, so once it has boiled for about 20 to 25 minutes and you guys wanna check your potato, make sure that it's nice and soft. And in this case, this one is, so it's ready to go. So pretty much that's the longest, the one that takes the longest to uh, soften up. So now we're gonna go ahead and add our chili and our streamer. I like to use this spoon so I can get all the chili out. I also like to add a little bit of water in the blender just to make sure I get all of the chili out. So just like that and then see how I get the rest of it out. So I just put it back in there and it's all ready to go. So I just finished streaming out the seeds to get all that delicious flavor. Perfect. And then just like that. So once I've added the chili, now I'm gonna go ahead and add in all my shrimp. So I'm gonna put the shrimp in there. Perfect. And then just mix it. This already smells so good, guys. Nice and mix. All right, and then the last thing, we're just gonna add in our tilapia. And then, all right, so we just wanna continue adding in our tilapia. Just like that. Right on top. Perfect, and then we'll just let it come to a boil. So we'll cover that up, and then we'll leave it out for another 10 or 15 minutes.
All right guys, so here is our finished product. Doesn't that look delicious? And then of course, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some lime. And as you can see, I did add some jalapeno to give it some flavor. Also do serve it with some saltine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the test taste. And I am super excited. Let's see. Oh, yum, this smells so good, guys. And if you guys like shrimp, look how good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, very, very good. And All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did like this recipe, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. And I will be making more and more cooking videos for you guys. So I cannot wait to show you guys more of the new recipes that I have in store for you. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and subscribe down below. All right guys, so I will see you guys on my next video. And in the meantime, let me enjoy this delicious shrimp.